Good Thursday morning, everybody. Hang on for just one second here. Had to make certain we had everything where it needed to be. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This is the latest edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime, for Thursday. Looking at some more sunny skies across the Mid-South today. Forecast down at the bottom of your screen with, again, a few clouds expected today. And temperatures into the lower 90s across parts of the area. Forecast into later on tonight over here. Again, winds switching out of the southeast. Mostly clear skies expected and temperatures for lows only dropping into the mid to upper 60s. So some very warm conditions expected in the Mid-South as we go throughout the course of the rest of the day. A lot to talk about for this morning into this afternoon, so let's go ahead and get to it and show you more about what's going on across much of the Mid-South throughout the rest of the day today. Taking a look at sunshine galore on the Mid-South, or the uh, Mississippi campus, University of Mississippi at Ole Miss Crosby Hall Construction Cam. Looking back to the area in and around the Student Union at the center part of your screen. A lot of activity taking place there and from the north end zone, plenty of sun Sunshine as Vaught Hemingway Stadium gets a bit of a redux for this morning, and plenty of sunshine again in northern parts of Mississippi. The UV radiation scale is going to be way up there today. Lots of dry air, clear skies out across the mid south. That's not going to absorb as much ultraviolet radiation, so sunblock would be a very good idea for today, and more than likely into tomorrow as well. Probably seeing some very high UV radiation levels as we get into tomorrow. So something to think about if you have any plans for outdoors, especially especially for the kids. Make certain that your skin is taken care of. Try to avoid the possibility of sunburn. Let's make certain everybody stays safe throughout the summer season in the Mid-South area. Currently seeing again, not much going on in the way of earthquakes in the Mid-South. One just outside the viewing area, a couple of them actually back into portions of Southeast Missouri and the Boot Hill, but nothing directly within the News Channel 3 viewing area at this time. More information from the United States Geological Survey. Nothing to show you in the way of rain across the Mid-South. Normally we should be at about an inch plus. We've only received a quarter of an inch, so we're behind for the year. <coughs> excuse me, by about an inch or so. We're well ahead for the year by almost 10 inches. So we've got plenty of a rainfall surplus across much of the Mid-South and yesterday again a dry day in the Mid-South area. Taking a look at sunrise sunset information, almost identical for today into tomorrow. 14 hours of sunlight expected again as we go out of springtime and into summertime. And if the kids are heading outdoors to man the lemonade stand into again the rest of the forecast. It is going to be looking rather warm out there. Temperatures nearing 90 by the time we hit the peak afternoon of the, the part of the afternoon so definitely want to add some more ice out there but so far heat index numbers are not going to be as bad as they possibly could be this weekend we could be looking at some major changes as more moisture rolls its way in off the Gulf of Mexico we'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit heading into the tropics things are decently quiet we've got a decent amount of dust coming off of Africa and the Sahara which is keeping things quiet out over the Atlantic. Nothing developing at this time in the Gulf of Mexico or the Caribbean, which is the usual spot for a lot of development that takes place at this time of the year. So something to think about there. If you're planning on traveling farther afield, again, into the rest of the forecast area, no storm formation according to the National Hurricane Center expected within the next 48 hours. And again, thanks to a lot of that dust coming off of Africa, things will be decently quiet, so hopefully it'll be staying that way. Rest of the forecast forecast. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Needs more coffee, I think. Back in the lower to mid 80s by lunchtime today. Picking up the kids from summer camp into later on this afternoon. Temperatures in the high 80s to the lower 90s. A little bit more cloud cover possible as we look down into around areas close to northern areas of Mississippi and into northwestern parts of Alabama. That could be, again, a little bit more shade in that location, but mainly hot conditions out there into the rest of the afternoon and evening. Upper 80s to lower 90s around dinner time tonight. And looking at temperatures falling into the upper 60s to lower 70s by the time we hit News Channel 3 at 10. Tomorrow morning, a little bit of a jacket would not be such a bad idea, especially in eastern parts of the viewing area. Got some numbers dropping into the mid to upper 50s again, a little closer to the Tennessee River Valley, so something to take along with you in the morning, but definitely will not need it throughout the rest of the morning as temperatures shoot upwards into the upper 70s to lower 80s by mid-morning. Lunchtime temperatures on Friday nearing 90 degrees, so outdoors on the patio might not be a bad idea if you can find something in the way of some shade out there. Heading home Friday night, temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s, and by News Channel 3 at 10 on Friday, only back in the upper 70s to around the lower 80s. Your seven-day forecast, 90 degrees today, very mild, a few clouds developing into the rest of the day, lower 90s as we head into Friday. 
with temperatures ascending into the mid 90s by the time we hit Saturday that's where we're going to be seeing the possibility of even more humidity and that's where I think we may see some heat index numbers pushing 100 degrees not exactly a heat advisory territory from the National Weather Service but if you are going to be working or exercising outdoors this weekend something to take a look at there now heading into again the course of the next several days notice that we do not have much of anything to show you in the way of rainfall looking at goose eggs on the chances of rainfall Thursday Friday and into Saturday but notice what happens on Sunday and following heading into the course of the rest of the next several days things are going to be looking a possibility of more showers and thunderstorms coming on through and this is again where we see the possibility of some outdoor activities uh, in the Mid-South getting interrupted by more chances of rainfall as we get into the course of the next couple of days after that doesn't look like too much of a chance of anything involving huge amounts of rainfall in the Mid-South as we get into the forecast for the weekend but later during the weekend Sunday that's going to be our best chance for rainfall and throughout the rest of next week flag day on Tuesday temperatures for next week remain in the lower 90s lows remain in the lower to mid 70s so not that cool at nighttime and very much good chances of showers and thunderstorms throughout the next several days not exactly as much during the day but over the next several days several chances of rainfall and thunderstorms exist so please remember that if you're going to be doing anything working or exercising outdoors Inter International Space Station will be seen tonight heading around the area of just the northern horizon and briefly for only a few minutes but it should be very bright it should be very easy to see rising northwest horizon around 1040 and fading just after it heads past Polaris at about 1043 again this is the northern horizon International Space Station seen tonight some very good viewing conditions there if you'd like to see an iridium flare that will be happening a few minutes earlier around 1017 in almost exactly the same place tonight it's a different satellite it'll be iridium 3 Last night was Iridium 11. You'll see this, the, a bright star fade into view moving toward the southeast in the eastern skies just south or underneath the bright star Vega seen in the eastern horizon skies. So again, if you'd like to see this, you need to be watching exactly at 1017 tonight for the star to fade in, get very bright, and then fade back out again. So again, not something that you're going to be able to see unless you're looking for it very quickly. And that again across the area. If you'd like to see anything in the way of what our viewers are sending in when it comes to anything in Involving social media pictures and thank you to everyone for sending in some spectacular photography work out there you can send it to me at aonic underscore wrag3 instagram facebook google plus many other websites available as well and again email address up here at the top of your screen at austin.onic at wrag.com i have a complete check of your entire forecast into and through the weekend coming up on live at nine news channel three at noon and of course todd demers on vacation this week so i'll be back for friday morning's events as well so stay tuned for more on that and again questions concerns what do you want to see on here we want to know from you yes you this is something that we want to know about and again email me here at austin.onic at wrg.com to find out more about how we can make this your weather blog to tune in more often so we can get more information from you that's it from now i'm meteorologist austin onic from the news channel 3 weather center in downtown memphis stay tuned for more with news channel 3 coming up throughout the day on air and online